We know there's a ton of talent in the city of Ottawa, and uh, we don't feel that it gets its due. Football, really, it's a microcosm of life in a lot of regards. That drive that you talk about that a lot of athletes have, that's applicable to all aspects of life. If we could reach eight out of ten kids, as opposed to just maybe two or three finding it on their own, then I think we're, we're doing a good thing. Um, and maybe more kids will, will go on to finding some other opportunities and will gain some additional self-esteem along the way. And uh, in some kids' lives, that can mean all the difference. And number 89, Jesse Carter. I'm from Ottawa. I grew up playing football in the uh, National Capital Amateur Football Association for the Bell Warriors. And uh, now I own House Edge Media and the House Edge Sports Network. Nakafa is, is, holds a really special place in, in my heart because it's the community that I grew up with, spending eight to ten years playing football in Nakafa. Um, it provided me an outlet outside of school and it, it helped give me an identity um, that I was a football player. Let's see your tackle. Uh, or your pass. Between the Owls and the S. As Calvillo tries to go to work in the air, Woodcock's got it! And look out, Pat Woodcock could go! Only Malcolm Frank, he's not gonna get there! I started playing Canada Knights when I was eight years old. I say all the time it was uh, a crucial aspect of my football career because I just think about you know what possibilities might have been had I had a negative experience early on, right? And I was uh, really fortunate to have some really great coaches and men that, that made a positive impact on my life at a young age. Uh, it taught me the game of football and taught me to love it and, uh, and it led on to, uh, to some great things. The longest pass reception in Grey Cup history, 99 yards to Pat Woodcock, a former ball boy for the Ottawa Rough Riders. I think football, because I seem to be good at it, it provided this place outside of school and outside of my family that I could go to and uh, it provided a lot of like self-esteem, being good at something early in your life. So ever since this first practice here at Linwood Park, I was on this mission to be the best football player that I could be. It gave me the opportunity to go on and get a degree in university and, and then eventually go on and get a master's in university. And what drives me now after all these years coming back is that we do have this, uh, this amazing infrastructure in place with, a, with one of the largest football organizations in all of Canada. I had always said if I was to make it as a professional athlete, a goal would always be to play for the hometown team. Big tackle there, second and six. Kennedy, play action. Here come the Bombers, lets it go, Woodcock with the reception. It was a special opportunity for me to, to be able to come back and, and play in front of the people who had supported me so much through my Ancafa years and through my university years. Um, and also special to, um, to be able to give back to the community that gave so much to me and just try to present to people what football can really mean beyond wins and losses and statistics and that kind of stuff and then it you know it, it develops young men and can provide them with a lot of valuable lessons that go far beyond the football field. Knowing what this sport did for me I don't think there's anything more important in my life than to be able to take those lessons uh, and then give that back to the next generation making it easier for them and accelerating their growth and their success. I don't think it stops at the uh, end of practice or at the end of a game. I think that, that uh, contact with the kids and uh, opportunities uh, that are available for them should span 12 months of the year, around the year. And, and sometimes that's as simple as, as providing them information about um, how other athletes and students have, have done it themselves and have been successful. When it comes to a university, uh, specifically an NCAA university or a CIS university, recruiting a student athlete, it goes much beyond what your game film shows, it goes much beyond what your 40 time is. You know, one of the first things they're going to ask about is your grades. Are you dependable? Can we count on you? Are you, you know, do you do what you say you're going to do? What I've noticed about, you know, growing up, moving away uh, from Ottawa and then deciding to come back and live here is that uh, sports have defined my life and now having a pro football team in the Red Blacks, being able to walk to the game down the streets. Now we have that again in Ottawa and there's so much pride for 
the people that are interested in the game of football here in Ottawa. We know there's a ton of talent in the city of Ottawa, in football, but in, in a wide variety of sports, and uh, we don't feel that it gets its due. And I think part of that is just because, you know, some of the athletes are, are not being presented the right information and not having the opportunity to really maximize their potential. The true important thing out of, out of this game is, is helping other kids uh, find that, that level of passion and commitment in something in their life. And it may lead to a CFL career for them, or it may not, but uh, they're gonna get something really valuable out of the experience. I'm excited for the future of this game in this country, and uh, I'm honored to be a part of that development. And, um, and we're just getting started.